Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, just wanted to bring you some seedling updates. So this is the second set of leaves on the Roma tomatoes. They're coming along just well, just fine. There's the second set on the beefsteak tomatoes. Um, now these are the peas that I planted, planted on the 24th. Today is April 29th, 2020, and I noticed they sprouted yesterday. So that's just one out of, I don't know, I think I put three or four in each uh, cup. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't write that on the cup. I just wrote the date and what they are. And to my surprise, I believe these are radishes because I took one out, I popped one out yesterday and I ate it and it tasted like a radish. Yep. Tasted like a radish. And originally I had licorice basil in here, but it didn't take. So I just decided to plant the um, radishes in it. Now I also planted lettuce in one like a like this size but i put them in so that like a cut and come again i think i actually recorded that i'm not sure but um uh, anyway i'm doing this video basically because i wanted to show you that you can do it and it's a lot cheaper to grow from seed than it is to buy the plant because this plant well, sometimes they have them six packs. I think peas come in six packs. And you can get them like $3, I guess. I don't know. Who knows what they're going to be this year. But a tomato plant, when it gets to a good size, is going to be $3 just for the plant. So you can get a package of seeds for that or less. So, and these seeds are old, like I said, and they're still growing. They're still growing. So I thought about my uh the one year i had a i was living on a second floor apartment and had a deck in the back and i decided to grow some plants on the deck i mean it turned into a jungle it honestly did it took over the deck um you could just barely walk around my table <laughs> but i grew eggplant i grew tomatoes zucchini um cucumbers Peppers. I think that's it. That's all I'm remembering. But you can grow them in pots. You can you can grow them in pots. You need a big pot, but you can grow tomato plants in pot. You can grow a an eggplant plant in a pot. You just need to stake them. You need to stake the tomato plants without a doubt. And um, like cucumbers, you can get bush cucumbers, and they won't need to climb. And zucchini doesn't climb, I don't think. Um, but it's a big plant. Zucchinis are big plants. So you would definitely need like a big pot for the zucchini. And you could put radishes in there as well. When I had the deck, and here comes kid socks. When I had the plants on the deck, I had, um, I used big planters and I used, um, I had like a big raised bed kind of thing on my deck that I grew the zucchini in and I believe the cucumbers were in that. Peppers I grew in plants, in pots rather. Tomatoes I grew in pots and eggplant I grew in pots. So you can do it if you wanted to. Um, I don't think you want to see his back, just black. Let's see your face. Can we show everybody your face? Come on. No. Come on. They don't want to see your back. They want to see your face. Yeah, you don't care. So, anyway, the point is, you can do it. It's cheaper. Oops. It's cheaper to do it in the ground, to have a garden in the ground. Because um, all you have to really do is amend the soil. and But you have to till it. And you have to amend it. So it's more work in the ground. 
but it's le it's more cost effective. Um, to grow them in pots, you have to buy soil. Uh, you know, because unless you set yourself up a hydroponic station, but that costs money as well. Um, so, wait out. Yeah. When the first year we had the garden here, I tilled that soil twice and I amended it with uh, peat moss and uh, perlite. Plus I put some plant food in each time I amended it. Boy, I tell you, that garden, that garden was awesome too. The garden on the deck was awesome. <laughs> this is me. This is what I like to do. You know, I don't like to go hang out in a bar I don't like to go to the movies. I don't, well, for uh, medical reasons, I really can't go out to eat much because of all the sodium that they put in food. So to me, for, for me, you know, I'm not, I'm not a fancy girl, more like a plain Jane type of girl. And I pretty much always have been. Like I go through, I went through phases where I would wear makeup and worry about my hair. But since I've gotten the fibromyalgia, I don't wear makeup. I don't care what my hair, like, I just brush my hair after I get out of the shower, and that's it. Because it's just, it's hard enough to take a shower some days, you know? Anyway, I know, I bounce all over the place. Just follow the bouncing robin. <laughs> um, the point was, uh, the point to all of this was, these grew, <laughs> this 29th, these grew in four days. Because they popped up yesterday. And I don't remember when I transplanted these, but I'm sure it's on camera. And these I just popped in I, probably on the 24th or the 25th, either one. But they popped up yesterday. At least I saw them yesterday. And uh, yeah, I have some of the kale's growing. Um, kale's actually looking good. These look good too. And you know you can eat radish greens. You can eat the tops too. You can eat them just like this. Which I did the other day. But shh, don't tell the other ones. <laughs> That's a joke, people. I don't believe they can hear me. Um, yeah. So, it's easy enough to grow in pots. Like, I probably should have put more soil in. If I wanted to use them as a... Uh, what are they called? Microgreens? But I can still do that. I can pop one out here and there and munch on it. Um, yeah. That's that. Did a little food shopping today. Well, I did a lot of food shopping today. All this planting seeds made me want salad. So I made sure it was worth the cab fare there and back. I spent a lot of money, but I don't care. I got a lot of food for that money. And I don't have to worry about it for a while either. And yes, I wore a mask. And I even wore gloves. And the way they have it set up at all these, usually you have to put a quarter in the slot. They're not doing that. They, they did away with that. They have a kid sitting outside wiping down the handles, wiping down the carts as soon as you're done with them. So that... Um, you don't have to worry about touching contaminated shopping carts. Um, all the employees were wearing masks. They have a clear, probably a plexiglass barrier between you and the cash register. Cashier, rather. Um, they were all wearing gloves as well. The gloves that I had were really bad gloves. And uh, they ripped. <laughs> but... I, have, I always carry hand sanitizer with me anyway, so I really wasn't worried about it. Um, but yeah, so we're not supposed to open up until the 15th, but we're starting to see more cases here. We're up to 60 something, 66 I think, where like two or three, was it two weeks ago we still had one, but you know. That's all things considered, that isn't bad, 66. 
but because everybody is doing is following the guidelines mostly you know some people are some people aren't so my guess would be that the ones who aren't are the ones who are getting sick that would be my guess the people that are following the guidelines i'm sure are not getting sick so anyway um it would be a good day it would be a good year to start yourself a garden because you know now i'm hearing that there's supposed to be food shortages i don't know about that honestly i know about the beans and i know about the flour because last year we had those floods in the midwest in nebraska and in ohio i think it was i don't know somewhere where they grow the grains and the silos were wiped out by the floods which explains why it takes so long to get flour by the way um plus trucking you know and employees having to put it down on the shelves and stuff like that but i don't know what was missing at all these like they didn't had no radishes at all they had i was hoping to find some herbs um you know in the packages li live herbs not planted but you know in the little packages they didn't i don't know i guess they don't sell them there i'm not sure um but they didn't have them they didn't have any coleslaw not one package of coleslaw uh and I noticed that the prices are kind of up there. They really are. Um, like, more than normal for all these. But it is what it is, you know. When there's a, when you can't get the food into the stores because of transportation, they had hardly any meat. Hard, there was hardly any meat there at all. I bought a frozen... Um, Cornish game hen and I bought a can of chicken I mean when I say there was hardly any meat there there was about three packages of the chicken tenderloins that they have on sale this week um it it was pretty much bare it really was pretty much bare so that left me out for me because anything frozen usually has a ton of salt in it um, the Cornish game hens are usually just, you know, with plain hen, no, uh, no salt stuff, but hamburgers and stuff like that are loaded with sodium usually. So, you know, you have to be, I have to be careful because if I don't read a package on a hamburger, it could have like 420 milligrams in it for all I know, you know, so I have to read the package. And then if you put that on a slice of bread or a hamburger bun, which is about 200 milligrams of sodium. You're talking 600 milligrams of sodium just for the hamburger, no cheese. Just for the hamburger and the bun. So, I have to read packages. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah. I like to grow food. That's who I am. <laughs> I was born this way. No, it's not Maybelline. I, I was born this way. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Or maybe I should say, no, it's not Burpees, it's it's me. Burpees is a seed company, if you don't know. Um, that's all I have for you. But I figured I'd bring that to you. Yeah, all these was... I, there were more people there than I expected to be there. I'd have to say that. Everybody was wearing a mask, though. Um, pretty much everybody was complying with the six foot distance with in reason like a couple people passed me and i i passed somebody but other than that people gave you a wide berth so and we had masks on anyway so it's not like you know what i'm saying to get through my mask if i had it and into somebody else's would be kind of hard i would think anyway that's all I have for you. And yes, I wiped pretty much everything down that I could with Clorox. Like, I couldn't wipe down the produce with Clorox, you know? But the stuff, the bags I did. Um, I don't know. It's better to be safe than sorry. I do have to say that my cab drivers, the first one didn't, will not wear a mask. 
he says. And the second one had their mask off. So, I had my mask on, so I'm not worried about it. But, yeah. There's people that don't believe that it's real. There's people that are going crazy, like, too focused on it, I guess. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Um, paranoid about it, like me. I'm paranoid about it. Um, and there's people who don't even... I don't even think it's out there. They actually are going to protest this weekend or Friday or something like that in one of the local towns. No, I just just said we got we just started getting tested. I guess um, we started getting cases and it went real fast. Went from one to sixty six real fast. So why would you protest? Like, I don't get it. I, you know, this isn't... Like, what would people do? What would people do if we were in a war and we had air raids? You know, when you had air raids, you had to shut your lights off. Like, it wasn't about you being able to read. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was you had to shut your lights off or you're going to get bombed. So this is the way I see it. It's like, well, it's a pandemic. It's in 184 countries. There's only 195 countries on the whole planet. So if that's not a pandemic, I don't know what it is. And, um, you know, why would you... It, you know, yeah, I could see some of the governors have gone a little bit haywire with their demands and stuff like that. Like, as far as not being able to buy seeds, that's kind of dumb, you know. Um, but that's not happening here, you know. Why would you be, your rights aren't being taken away from you. This is how people are seeing this. Like, okay, so in other words, if we were in a war and we had air raids, your rights would be taken away from you because you want to keep your light on during an air raid so you can read. That's the kind of mentality that I'm seeing. And it's like very frustrating for me because it's like people have no compassion for other people, no empathy, not even a thought in their head. Oh, no, it's all me, me, me. That's wrong. Like, I don't get it. I don't want to go on a rant, but I just, I don't get it. And then there's other people that are saying that, it's all a hoax. It's not a hoax. <laughs> it's real. Why would the president hold daily coronavirus task force conferences? Why would 56,000 Americans be dead? Why would all these other countries have it? it you know? I don't know. I'm just not seeing it the way other people are seeing it, I guess, because I care about other people, you know? I wouldn't want to be responsible if I had it to, to give it to someone who then brought it home to someone who, like myself, you know, with um, lung issues or or other issues, I wouldn't want to be responsible to... I wouldn't even want to think about that. Like I would be responsible to, to take somebody else's life basically because I didn't want to wear a mask. You know, that's, that's, I don't know. I just definitely not the world I grew up in. That's for sure. Definitely not the world I grew up in. Anyway, that being said, before I go on even a more negative negative rant I wanted to show you the progress and I'm hoping to inspire people out there to grow your own food you can do it if I can do it you can do it it's not that hard just buy some seeds buy some soil throw it in the dirt the only thing is you're gonna need to put things like tomatoes outside or 
peas outside or beans outside. Basically, the only thing you can grow inside would be radishes, um, carrots probably, uh, lettuce, kale, anything that doesn't have to be pollinated you can grow inside. Unless you want to hand pollinate. That's not my thing. I like my plants. I really do. But that's a little bit too much for me. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody's taking precautions and staying safe out there. And, you know, we'll get through this. We'll get through it. We just have to be patient. No sense in... We, we, we've we come this far. Why mess it up by pro excuse me, protesting and being around a whole bunch of people and risk getting sick. It doesn't make sense. That's my take on it. Anyway, if you want to believe that we're having a food short, going to have a food shortage as well, I would say get yourself a couple of planters and grow something in the house. Even if it's just lettuce or microgreens, you can grow chia seeds as microgreens. You can grow... There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can grow as microgreens. So, at least it's something. And it's good for you. Produce is good for you. I was dying for a salad. And I'll tell you what, that salad was delicious. Thankfully, I have more. Because <laughs> I get, like, I have to have salad sometimes. I don't know if anybody else is out there like that, but... Because, you know, it's been, the beginning of March was the last time I went to, went food shopping. So, like, I picked up eggs and milk at, um, Rite Aid and the, the local co-op there. And, like, a couple of things here and there from, like, Family Dollar. But I didn't do a real food shopping since March or maybe even February. I'm not sure, but I make my own bread, you know, and I make my own goodies, which is bad, you know, like chocolate zucchini bread and Amish friendship bread and yeah, yeah, bad stuff, bad, 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 but oh, so tasty. <laughs> anyway, I know I ramble. Thank you so much for watching. Go get yourself a garden going. It, it, you know, ask your landlord if you could put pots outside if you live in a, um, uh, an apartment. If you live in an apartment building and you have access to a uh, fire escape, you can even put a plant out there, you know, as long as it gets sun and it's not in other people's way. Because, you know, you need the fire escape. It's there for a reason. But I'm just saying. I'm just trying to give you some examples. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Please stay safe and follow the guidelines. It's only another couple of weeks. We can get through this. We can get through this. We want to get rid of the virus, right? We want to get rid of the virus so we can actually enjoy the summer. Get it? Otherwise, we're going to be doing this through the summertime. I don't want to be doing this through the summertime, do you? And then it'll be back in the fall, supposedly. Yeah, that ain't my thing. I want to get rid of it. Anyway, have a great day. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.